If we look at the composition of human milk, fat is a key component, providing the newborn with 50% of the calories required for healthy growth and development. The fat is primarily made up of molecules called triglycerides, composed of three fatty acids attached in a specific order called SN1, SN2, and SN3. Breast milk has a specific fatty acid profile. Palmitic acid and oleic acid are the most abundant fatty acids, and in most standard infant formula, different vegetable oils are used to mimic this profile. However, having a similar fatty acid profile is not enough. In breast milk, the triglycerides have a very special structure where 70% is located on the middle position of the triglyceride, while in vegetable oil it will be predominantly bound to position SN1 or SN3, with only 8% in the middle position. Today, scientists believe that this particular and unique structure found in human milk contributes to better absorption of fat and minerals. This short animation depicts a model of the baby's intestine and the digestion of fat. In breast milk, the palmitate is usually located on the second position of the triglycerides. When this molecule reaches the intestines, it is cleaved by an enzyme. Now we have a monoglyceride and two free fatty acids that are easily and readily absorbed. We can see more molecules coming in, cleaved and absorbed. However, in most infant formula, the fat used is standard vegetable oil. In this case, the palmitate is on positions 1 and 3. When it reaches the intestines, it is cleaved by an enzyme. However, while the monoglyceride is easily absorbed, the free palmitic acid is not. It bonds with calcium, creating soap, which is more difficult to absorb, causing stomach pains and discomfort amongst infants. It is eventually excreted from the body, resulting in loss of valuable fat and minerals. In fat reduces loss of fat and calcium contributing to softer stools, reducing crying and improves the well-being of the baby.